Good morning, Rams. I'm Josh Conlin. And I'm Isabel Harrison. Welcome to KRAM. One of the sports continuing through the pandemic is cross country. We took a look at how COVID is affecting their season. Cross country is a sport many people enjoy, but due to COVID-19, there have been some restrictions to ensure the health and safety of runners. The season right now has definitely been changed due to the pandemic. Some of the runners offer first-hand insight into the matter. My name is Ben Conlon. I am a senior here at Rampart High School, and I am the number one runner on the team right now. My name is Emma Barker, and I'm a senior. My name is Cadence Corby, and I'm a junior. The biggest thing that's different about this season is the amount of people in every race. Normally, we'd have anywhere from 100 to over 200 people in one single varsity race, and there would be 10 or 20 different schools with seven people on each team. Well, this season, while we're not running, we have to wear masks. And during meets, meets are split up into separate JV and varsity meets. And it's a delayed start. So you have different heats that are running in meets. So you have like one heat that starts. And then the second heat starts like 30 minutes afterwards. And there's like a set number of people who can be in every single meet. This season is a lot different than previous seasons because the team dynamics kind of different. We're split into two different groups between hybrid and synchronous runners and um, meets are a lot smaller and they're set up really differently. The guidelines affect us in, in some ways a lot, in some ways a little. It's still the team. We're still that awesome community that we always have been, but you know, we have to spread out and keep distance between us a lot more. So the masks are weird, but they're you know, they're part of life right now. Um, our team is also broken up right now based on how they're schooling and to make sure that we don't have quarantine hurt, hurt our prospects towards the end of the season. Even though the restrictions have made it harder to interact with one another and have regular races, runners still have goals they want to achieve for this season. My biggest goal for this season is to run a school record. I really want to make it to state. One of our goals as a team is to do well at regionals and maybe make it to state. And an individual goal I have is just to get a new personal record. Cross country is still going strong and we hope to see all sports make a return to normal. This has been Josh Conlon reporting for KRAM. Keep running strong Rams and good luck at state in a couple of weeks. Some students have been lucky enough to keep working during COVID. KRAM spoke to several students who have had jobs during the pandemic. Although the world seems to have shut down, students in and outside of school are working hard through the difficult time. I'm a food sales associate at Walmart. I work at Aeropostale at the mall, and I also work for my mom. She runs her own business. I'm a cashier. I work on the sales floor, and I work in some of our roles that we had to create for COVID. Some things have changed in how jobs operate. We have different hours now. Before we went from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. Now we are open from 11 to seven. So all the hours are a lot shorter. I have to always wear a mask. Except for when we're eating, we have to stay six feet apart, which is pretty easy because we have to sit in booths. So we can like each sit in one booth. Despite all the new regulations, the students still enjoy their jobs. I like all the people and sometimes they bring us in ice cream, so that's really fun. I, I'm always like doing something, so uh, it's pretty fun. Rampart's drive to keep growing and working through this time makes the community stronger. This is Kelly Wood reporting for KRAM. It's really fortunate that so many students are able to work at this time. For our second student profile, KRAM spoke to Gabby Tovar, who is virtually directing the one-act play, I Hate Love. With the pandemic still in full swing, many students have lost their after-school sports and clubs. However, some students have found new safe ways to continue their activities. One such student is Gabby Tovar. I have chosen to proceed with the play, even because of the pandemic, because you can see like all the sports people and like marching band, and everybody is like still doing their activities, you know, and I always knew that like theater is a safe spot for a lot of kids, and I wanted it to be possible to still like have that spot. Gabby is directing the one-act play, I Hate Love, and has recently started rehearsing with the cast she selected through video auditions. What we have been doing is obviously um, a lot of virtual stuff, 
virtual read-throughs, character development across the screen. There's been a lot of like trying to stay out of content as much as possible. If there are ever in person rehearsals, we have a spot out in the park. We always wear masks. It's like just make sure that we're following COVID guidelines. So far, we have been just doing Zoom calls and just preparing for how we're going to be able to start practice officially in the future. Well, we of course have the masks and we're trying our best to social distance, even though I don't know how well that's going, but I'd say it's going pretty well. As an organizer and director, Gabby has faced many challenges in trying to direct through a screen. Because obviously we're not in person, it's hard to like read chemistry through a screen. We've been working on that through trying to get deeper into your character and just trusting the fact that I have a really talented cast of actors. It's strange for sure, having everything online and not being able to really practice in person with each other. I think it's just the lack of rehearsals that makes it all tricky. Although Gabby and her cast have faced many obstacles, they are happy to continue their passions in any way they can. My favorite thing about directing is definitely just the people. I just, I love who I'm working with. I always love who I'm working with. Our theater program is so great. The people I have met in there are just phenomenal. And it's just amazing to be able to see something on stage and have really talented people building and acting and painting it and see all those ideas come through to the hands of really talented people. Good luck with your show, and we hope to see you rehearsing in person soon. Break a leg, Gabby. That's all for this week's broadcast. I'm Josh Conlon. And I'm Isabel Harrison. Have a great day, Rams. Was that one uh, take? Did that ever happen? I'll do one more. Uh, let's try that one more time where without Josh freezing. Oh, I like that plan. Have a date. Have a date. <laughs> Have a great day, Rams. That's what I was trying to say. Have a date, everyone. Is this like a dance break here? Is that what's going on here? Let's do it one more time. Thank you.